Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the Madronio Meet the Teacher meeting. We're going to start off by just having a very quick tour of the classroom. So I'm going to use Welcome to show you around and to talk about what's changed, what's the same and so you can see where your children work. So without further ado, we have got the front of the classroom clearly. Now that door will normally be open, okay, that's kept open every day. We have tissues for the classroom as well. Okay, moving round, we have the reading area just over here. And as you can see, there is a little box just by the reading area. That is where any books that they have used um, need to be put before and for three days, and then they're removed and put back. Okay, so that's on a Thursday. It's also where the reading diaries go on a Thursday as well and are handed back on a Monday. Now moving around, we've got the working walls where any work that we've done together is kept back of the classroom we have a classroom door that is kept open as much as possible and the windows are also open. As you can see the chairs and tables are slightly different than usual they're in rows now okay just to keep them as distant from each other as possible and to keep them in their seats and it's actually working very very well. You can also see they've got a tray on each chair and that's where each child keeps their things okay and they don't share things anymore. Moving round, the rest of the working walls for science and maths, etc. My own desk just over here and the board at the front. Okay, we also have an area marked out by tape at the front of the classroom, which is where I will stay most of the time. And if I go among the children or Russ goes among the children, that is when we will use a visor. Okay, now normally this door is open out there. We have the parameters of the year four bubble for where year four always stay. There are also the sinks and the way that they use to go out. So welcome to year four, of course, in Madronio, that's myself and Russ. And in Wisteria, just next door, that is Mr. Lees and Miss Houghton. Now they may be working with Miss Houghton sometimes, although not at the moment. Moving on, so we've had a quick tour of the classroom and the year four area of school. I couldn't show you the whole year four area because my lead on my webcam isn't long enough. School day. So the children arrive at 8.40 as you know. Okay, they come in, they wash their hands, they put their things away and they settle down to a morning task until 9 o'clock while I do the register. Then it's maths until 10 o'clock and then from 10 till 10.15 we have break. Now they wash their hands before break and they wash their hands after break. Then it's English and big read until 11.20. They wash their hands again and go into the hall for lunch until 11.50, which is followed by a very short break outside on the playground. Now, the first afternoon lesson starts at 12 and goes until 1.15. Then we have an afternoon break from 1.15 until 1.45. They found this quite tricky at first, but they are getting used to it. Okay. And the second afternoon lesson runs until 2.35. And then we get ready for home and are home for 2.45 although not always on time, of course. Now, the autumn terms, the work for the autumn term looks like this. So in maths, we're looking at place value, we're looking at addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, and perimeter. Now we'll be doing this through power maths again, of course. We're on place value at the moment, that means understanding how numbers work, particularly four digit numbers. So thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones, okay? In English and Big Read, we have been reading Carol Ann Duffy's The Lost Happy Endings. If I just go grab that for you. Here it is. So we're looking at this book at the moment, Carol Ann Duffy's The Lost Happy Endings. We've just finished reading it and we're about to start a writing unit based on that text. And they're all very, very excited for it. They've really enjoyed reading it so far. So I'm very excited for, to see what writing they come up with. In theme, we've been studying Impressionism in art, particularly looking at the work of Gustav Klimt. And we've just created our own version of one of his paintings, The Beech Grove. We're about to start a unit based on geography and DT, looking at trees and tree houses also associated with the lost happy endings. Now they don't know about that yet, so just hold, on off, hold off on that information. In science, we have started studying sound to tie in with our strings lessons, which happen every other Friday afternoon. Now, they were really good at that last week, so that was great to see. 
and hopefully after half term we'll be starting studying the Romans but I'm not certain on that yet so don't hold me to that. My expectations. So for behaviour, we've had a really fantastic start in Madronio. Okay, they've been amazing. They've been getting on with their work. They've been really calm and focused. But of course, we have a lot of catching up to do. And as half as half term moves along, they can start to get fidgety and get a bit silly. Now we don't have the time to waste on lack of focus or arguments or tantrums, which can happen. So we will be cracking down on that using rewards and consequences. However, year four is kind of the year in which they start to grow out of those things. So I'm really expecting great things from them and I'm sure they can really bring it together. Homework. Now my three big focuses for homework this year are reading, spellings and times tables. These are the basic things that need to be in place. So reading, we need to see daily reading of their reading books. Diaries will be collected in on Thursday and they'll go in the quarantine box over there and then they will be looked at again on a Monday. This needs to happen as much as possible. It's the one thing they will have struggled with over lockdown. So we need to see lots and lots of reading from them. Spellings, we have introduced spelling shed this year. New spellings are set on a Monday. So they'll get their new spellings a little later today and then tested the following Monday, at which point I will allow new spellings to go out. So they have the week to learn those 10 new spellings from the year four spelling words. Times tables, we are continuing to use GT Rockstars this year, so please encourage the use of this as much as possible. At the end of year four, there is a times tables check, normally, um, and for this, they need to know their times tables up to their 12 times tables. So we really need to get on that. So with much of TT Rockstars and of spellings as they will take. Okay. Attendance. Now, clearly there are rules for attendance this year. And if children are showing symptoms such as a high temperature or a new continuous cough or a loss of sense of taste or smell, then they must be kept off school and tested, of course. But otherwise, children should be in as much as possible as we have so much catching up to do. And they're going to do that, but they need to be in school to do it. OK. Timekeeping. Now, of course, we have specific gate times this year. So the morning gate is at 8.40. Russ is there to collect and check temperatures. And the end of the day gate is at 2.45 and I dismiss. Now, I don't really need to talk about this because we're really on time as a class. So thank you for that. PE, we do PE on a Monday afternoon. This could change to Tuesday next half term, but I'm not sure as of yet. That could change. There is no space for changing, so children need to be in close suitable PE all the time, and they generally are. Okay, we've had no issues as of yet. Of course, earrings could do with being out, but if they can't be out, then please make sure they have tape so that they can be safe in PE. Now, this is one of the most important things I'm going to say. Please download the Class Dojo app. This is how we are going to communicate with you as parents over the coming year, I suppose. This will be checked twice a week. So if you download the app, you can contact us and we can contact you back, but it's going to be checked twice a week by us. It will also be used for setting and receiving homework. It has to be that this is downloaded for you to access those things. There are more details about how to connect with it and how we will use this in a letter coming on Friday. Okay, but you need to download this app, the Class Dojo app from Google Play or from the App Store to do that. So please, by Friday, have this app downloaded. It will be really, really useful. Okay, okay. Thank you for coming.